Now moving on to our next section and looking ahead, your last yep. year coming up and all that sort of thing. What mm. have you got planned besides what we've talked about in part one? Uh, my big worry is uh, how we get out of the financial situation of COVID, the, the aftermath of it. What we must make sure we don't get the economy overheating because we have evidence of people buying houses off the net uh, without even visiting because they realise the island is in a very, very good position. I'm hearing this as well. Like, yeah. this, this well, house prices gone through the roof. There's still well, a lot of viewing. So yeah. I, don't know. I mean, is it translating? Um, I suppose it, it, prices are going up. This, this is what I hear. Yeah. And of course, that translates as for our youngsters not being able to buy a house. Yeah. And what we don't want is to get into the Cornwall or Wales situation where we have a lot of holiday cottages and the... the, but the, but the I mean, I don't know, but all those... All those place on the prom the some of the flats everyone says that to you but uh, no one's backing it up but there's a lot of sort of lets there that aren't used and that sort of thing so it, does, it probably goes on here doesn't it yeah people it's, need an, an Isle of Man postcode maybe for some tax reasons or something like that possibly but we've got to make sure we look after our youngsters what, and the keep answer? them on the island that, what, that's what, the thing how mm. is that going to change I mean, you tell us how you can it's supply and demand isn't it people will get what they can get for their house they yeah. want to take as much as they can get they and that's just a fact that, of life, isn't Well, it? that is a fact of life, but we've got to make sure there's opportunity for youngsters to stay on the island. Yeah. Um, Isle of Man University College gives really good courses. Uh, we, we attract people back on the island after they have been to university, make sure that stuff is all in place. And, you know, that is the that is starting point. Make sure there's good apprenticeships uh, and coming back to the economy, you know, it worries me that our aerospace sector is going to be absolutely ravaged by, we've seen the cuts that Rolls-Royce have made, um, Airbus are the same. I mean, Rolls Royce are thinking of shutting Rolls Barn Oldswick. Mm. RB211, Rolls Barn Oldswick, the uh, famous engine that was developed there, mm. uh, and they wouldn't be shutting that lightly. Um, you know. But on the other side, I've, I've heard that the e gaming is going through the roof at the minute. E gaming is going through the roof, yeah, I, I hear the same thing, which, which is great news, but don't forget, those type of businesses can disappear overnight. Mm -hmm. Engineering is different. You've got expensive kit on Physical, the island. Physicality yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, okay. so it's a different thing. But we, we've got to get out there and track more business we've got to get business confidence going again uh, because the world has been shaken by this and we've got to show we're a good place to be open for business and attract the right businesses now you know we've had a brief discussion about our own airline oh but, but do you know, do that but that's you're still on that me, I mean you've been around all yeah, the media doing this and, yeah. and you, you're dead a dog with a bone on this one now. Certainly. Well, I, I'm convinced it's one of the one of the key things going forward. And we hear, about, you know, you hear Guernsey um, have got their own. It, they consider it as a cost for their economy. They support the airline because it it attracts the business. And you know, if you've got a Manx aircraft at the airport with three legs of man, the confidence that that generates. We've got our own airline, mm -hmm. national airline, and it, it says a lot. I've got an interview with uh, Mark from from Arini actually coming up soon, so oh, right, just okay. see what he's got to say. Yeah. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I know from listening to what's going on down there that this, it's very, very controversial because of the this six million or so, it's, it's costing the island, and that's what people don't want, surely. At the end of the day, they don't want to be left with a state-owned thing like an airline that could just hemorrhage money. I, I think you've got to be careful about the hemorrhaging money. Obviously, any oh, state, yeah. any state-owned thing is, but it's a, it's, it's like certain things that we have. We have our um, energy from waste transplant, for example. Uh, tra uh, energy from waste. You, uh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, I, was, I was always going to call it incinerator, but energy from Gosh, waste. Gosh, they'll yeah. go mad at that one. But we, we've got that, and there's certain strategic things that we need, and we decided that the steam packet was a strategic thing. Now, if you look at what's happening to Condor at the moment, I don't know if you're yes, to I'll, speak with that. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it up. They are glad that we, uh, you know, that they feel that they should have their own ferry company as we have. And they're letting and off a lot of people down there from that company, of yeah, course. Yeah, and, and we, you know, we, right. we could be down to two, so two sailings a week if we didn't own it. You know? How far are you going to go with this airline thing? Are you going to be the I've one who's going to be waving it off on the first I've, inaugural flight? I, I, no, I've written to all the ministers saying we really need to have a good look at it. Um, I've been in discussion with Terry Lydion. He's not convinced. Yeah. Is he, I mean, Terry Lydion, I know he's changed slightly, but you know, he knows the ins and outs of running airlines yep. and the costs and the dangers and the potential for losing money is, is massive, isn't it? You've got to be positive, Paul. I mean, there are risks involved, but it. the timing is such that we have 27 uh, Manx people on the dole, pilots, very highly paid pilots, uh, claiming the dole at the moment. They should be paying Manx tax at 80, 90 grand a year. The fact is they're not going to get a yep. job probably anywhere. That's just one of the things, the minutes, because yep. normally, normal times they could go somewhere else and they, they have done. How many times have yep. been, there's been a flyby base here, they close it, yep. British Airways are in, they're out, they're in. You know, and if that's the point. The they're in, they're out, they're, they're yeah. shaking all about. We, we need to get them here <laughs> yeah. and have our own base with our own aircraft 
maintain the maintenance um, okay. people so they can service it overnight. It's a no-brainer. Right. We'll you talk know? about this much more. It's timing. Anything yeah. else you're mm. looking forward to this, this year? Uh, yeah, I, the sexual offences bill, um, I've had a lot of uh, comment on that from people. We need to get that in place. Uh, there's certain um, uh, sentences that have been handed out recently that are, are just off the, you know, off the wall. We the AG to... did correct one of them. So. Yes, yeah. The, well, the, there the, was a newspaper the, campaign the, in Italy, but uh... yeah, but that needs to be sorted out. The landlord and tenants bill that needs to go through. Um, you know, it needs to be. Um, put in place because there are unscrupulous landlords, there are unscrupulous tenants. This is going on for, again, how many, Chris Robert Shaw and people have been on that one for years, haven't they? Trying to get yeah, this I mean, out. Uh, it's been rumbling through the line, but we're ne this is a DOI bill, by the way, oh. and oh, okay. uh, it, it, you know we need to get behind it and get it in place. Um, would you be thinking about standing again? I know I'm not asking you actually if you're standing because that would put you I, I think things. I probably am, but I shall make a yeah. firm decision yeah. in February time next year, I think. So would um, that make you a career yeah. politician then? Well, I suppose I am poor when you look mm. at it that way. I, uh, the private sector doesn't interest you anymore because that's what you were doing before. Obviously. Yeah, I, I, I do like the politics because it's actually three jobs in one. You oh. know, it's parliamentary, it is um, looking after your constituents, and it's government departments. So it's it's. So you're a bit soft though. You don't yeah. ask a lot of questions. I mean, um, oh, uh, in, in question time, I'm talking about here now. I, I think you're you doing stuff behind the scenes. You're going to yeah, you get better traction, and COVID's proved that. You get to know the officers, how they're dealing with things, mm -hmm. and you can have much more influence than if you rant and shout and ball in Timwold. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, some of the questions that are being asked at the moment, I mean. When you look at the cost of that, civil servant-wise, being dragged off to, to do that is, is, is heartbreaking. One of the things I do want to make sure is that the health service gets organised. Um, Under this new setup. Yeah, we mustn't forget we've got increasing waiting lists. We've taken our off the ball regarding diabetic monitoring. Just one example of stuff, the day job that should have been going on that wasn't done during COVID. Um, uh, Catherine Magson is is a, a top lady, uh, and I just hope that they maintain all these things that should have been done, particularly waiting lists. So, supposing you're back in, you offered a, a ministerial position. Um, what would be the I'd thing? Probably, you'd I like? probably wouldn't take a ministerial position, Paul. Well, I would, if you offered it, mm, yeah, probably. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I think. So, make you a low uh, achiever then, or something? I'm not a low achiever. I, I mean, I surely that's the gate I, aim, isn't you it? You are muzzled if you are a minister. Ah. And I think if you want to do stuff behind the scenes, you can do it. You don't want the collective responsibility issues. Um, no, I understand that, and, I, and it, that has to be. Um, and there's all sorts of people criticising our method of government and, and one thing or another. Uh, but I think you'll find you go to Guernsey and ask them about the elections that's coming up, all island elections. All island. I know. That is. Mm, I know. Yeah. That's, it's a small place, but it's still going to be interesting to see how so, that one goes. Yeah. I mean, MLCs, by the way, would, you, would we have a thought of them being elected? Well, I, I've actually changed my view on MLCs. Oh. Uh, I thought they should be elected democratically when I was outside of Parliament. Yeah. But having got in and seen how it works, and interesting enough, the 12 new MHKs, well, not so new now, but mm. one that were elected, uh, decided collectively that we needed a different different view on it. And we've elected some very good people. And it's not the home of rest for old politicians. And it, and it was. <laughs> you you know. do a fancy job up there on, on the shelf then? Not yet? really, no. Okay. I mean, yeah. Legislation, you know, making sure the comments and the, <laughs> the commas and these, you know, thoughts. Who would you have, on the basis of your standing, um, mm. who would you have as Chief Minister? Have you got any ideas? That's yet? interesting. I mean, they haven't been elected yet. But it's, no, it, no, it, but it, it's going to be someone's already in there. Yeah, there's some very good, talented people that are in there. And Jim Watson wants to be uh, the President. Are you happy with that idea, Jim Watson? Being president. Oh, does it? Oh, right. He announced okay. it on yeah. my interview. Yeah. A few ah, right. Okay. So I'm, oh. I haven't seen that yet. So okay. that'll be interesting. The um, papers picked up on it as well. So I oh, mean, okay. that's quite interesting. But anyway, that's another day. But Again, it, it, yeah, it, that's in July, isn't right. it? It's coming up. Yeah. How do you score yourself in the, in the last year out of ten? Last year, I would say probably eight out of five. Out of ten. Yeah. Eight out of ten. Uh, no, eight, eight point. Yeah, eight out of ten. Eight, eight point five. Oh, eight point five. Yeah. Sorry. I was, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah. We're going to. And to government ask. probably nine point five. I mean, the reaction to nine point five. Yeah, I think I That's think they've done really pretty, high. I think they've done pretty well. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, there's this across government working. We've got to continue it. And you know, do you think this this sort of relationship will, will continue for this final year? You know, because it's got more. With question time, with nothing else, there's more. I, I, I really hope that people on. don't posture too much. I mean, there will be some posturing. I'm, not, I'm, you know, no doubt about that. But we've got a job to do, and uh, you know, it's, it's bandied around. But it is one of the most critical times in the island has, has ever faced for quite many years, and we've got to make sure we come out of COVID uh, in a good way.